What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. Now I know I've been telling you all that I've built a step for my boat trailer and I finally have found the time to be able to show you how I did it. It is very simple and today was actually the first time that I've used it and it was an absolute lifesaver. These are, the step itself is made of parts off of Amazon and they are under $100. Now, when I got this new trailer and when I had my Ranger trailer, it was a headache to try to get in and out. It killed my knees. I had to slide out the front, step on the trailer. It was a really long step. And I was like, I do not want to spend $300, $400, $500 on a step. There's a lot of different things available out there. But I just didn't, didn't really want to spend the money. And I didn't need three steps to be able to get in and out. I needed one step. So I looked around a ton and I finally thought about what I had been doing getting in and out of my John boat. So basically getting in and out of my John boat, I'd been stepping on the spare tire for over 20 years and all this brainstorming I'd been doing, I finally thought about it. I said, well, I've been getting out of my John boat, stepping on my spare tire. Why couldn't I use a spare tire holder to elevate some sort of step? So I did some looking around on Amazon and I was able to find exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna show you what I got and what it took to make it. And I'm also gonna show like down in the bottom left corner of the screen, basically what I ordered so you can order the exact same, same thing. So I'm gonna show it to you all right now. All right, so there's two pieces to this whole setup and that's it. And like I said, a spare tire holder and the step itself so this step is available on amazon and it's right down in the bottom left corner right here and it comes a little bit different than what you see so basically i ordered this material from cool foot so it would kind of match my boat but what i did was originally the step comes with holes in the bottom of the step that mount to the trailer tongue okay but I didn't want to have those holes on this backside, so I actually drilled these holes right here with a 3 8 inch drill bit. And so the spare tire holder itself has three holes in it. And I will show you, we'll jump over on this side so I show you so I can show you that as well. But I drilled these three holes to match the spare tire carrier because that already has two holes and I had to drill one extra. But I drilled them out and I mounted it to the spare tire holder. And this is all one piece. This is all one unit right here. And you order this as is. The only exception is on this side, it comes with a black pad to step on. And this side, it has the holes in it. So I flipped it, I drilled these out and I put the pad on this side itself so you wouldn't have all those holes showing right here. That was just something I did so it would look a little better. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I think it just it ends up being a little better looking product in the end. But you could definitely use it. And as you can see in the picture that I showed you all, it does come with a pad on it. So you could just basically reverse this, step on that black pad, and that would be fine. You would still have to drill the side that already has the holes in it though because the holes don't exactly match up so we're going to jump over on this side of the trailer right here and i'm going to show you the spare tire holder where i drilled it out and how it elevates this step all right so here we are on the opposite side of the trailer and as you can see here's the spare tire mounting bracket so this bolts right to the trailer it has these little mounts right here on this side and bolts that come with it they go right on your trailer, you bolt that up and your spare tire bracket is sitting right off the trailer perfectly. So this allows your step to be lifted. It raises it up. You know, you could buy this step and just mount it right to the trailer tongue like it's designed to do, but that wasn't gonna work for me because it wasn't high enough. If I mounted this right here, the step would only be about this high. And I was like, that's still a very long step. I needed it to be lifted. So that is where this comes into play. So you mount this to your trailer. It already has a hole drilled here and one right in the middle, right here under the bracket. So I had to drill this hole right here with a 3 8 inch drill bit. So after I drilled that one out, 
I took the step itself and I held it up to the plate and I marked it and then I drilled this bracket out and then I just had three eighths inch. I think these are three eighths by one inch bolts with lock washers and lock nuts. And I was able to just put it right on the mountain bracket itself and bolted it up. And like I said, I got this, you know, pad. You could do this as well, or you could use the original pad, but this is a step, design step. And one thing I will say is this is a spare tire mounting bracket. So it isn't really designed to be stepped on. So a little disclaimer there, but for me, it's perfectly fine. It is solid as it can be. And like I said, this was the easiest thing in the world. It was under a hundred bucks, but just make sure that you drill out your bracket right here. It already has these pre-drilled holes in it. And if you want to use the side of this step that already has the holes in it, you're still going to have to drill it out anyway. But like I said, I like it better where it's solid on this side. So I covered that side. I drilled out this bracket right here and bolted it up. And I'm going to show you now how easy it is for me to get in and out of my trailer. So I'm going to show you how I would get in and out before I had the step and how much easier it is now, uh, to get in and out now. Now, I will say that I got about 10 plus inches of lift out of this step. Easily 10 plus inches so I can step right in to my boat. So I'm going to basically show you how I was getting in and out of it before, and I'm gonna show you how I get in and out with this step now. All right, so before I had the step, I'm gonna show you how I was getting in and out of my boat. So had to step on the trailer, of course, get up here, and I was having to get in the boat just like this. That's how I had to get in. That was an absolute nightmare trying to get in and out of, out of the boat. Getting out, same way. I was going to bust my butt sooner or later, but had to step all the way down here and get out that way. Luckily, I'm a tall guy and I have long legs. If I was shorter, had shorter legs, it would be very, very hard to get in and out. It was hard enough as it was. But now that I have this step, it makes it 10 times easier. I'm able to step right on the trailer tongue step right here boom i'm in just like that it is so much easier now that i have that that step makes all the difference in the world getting out step right on right on the trailer i'm out just like that that thing has saved it saved me today big time it's the first time i use it like i said and i actually fished a trolling motor only lake so i had to load the boat with the trolling motor winch it on it's it, it really saved me getting out of the boat, getting in and out. So check them out on Amazon. I'm going to link the parts actually in the description. And I've kind of shown you in the bottom left corner when I talked about it, what they were. Super, super simple to make under a hundred bucks. Don't spend three, four, five hundred dollars, you know, buying a step. Order these parts, make you one. Like I said, little disclaimer, that spare tire holder isn't designed to be stepped on, but it is solid as it can be. I can show you right here. I'm jumping on it. I mean, it's solid. So go ahead, make you one, save you some money. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.